Welcome to Diana's Mud Shop. I thought today I would show a little small video on how I have installed my kiln. Now, I've had this kiln for five years now. Um, I have a wooden building that's 12 by 16, so it's pretty small. And I wanted it to be as safe as I could get it. So I have a Congolian on the floor, and then on top of that is the rubber shelving liner and then a, a cloth, actually they're car cleaning cloths that are soft on top of that, and then the uh, brick pavers. These are like patio bricks. They're two inches high, two inches deep. And um, I have made a floor there for them, set my kiln on top of it. It is 18 inches away from the wall, all the way around. Plus, I have stove board behind it. The black boards are placed on one inch um, ceramic spacers. Let's see if I can get you where you can see them. There's the ceramic spacers. And um, away from the wall, I have, if you can see the white, that is ceramic uh, fireproof insulation that I have installed. And uh, these are heat resistant. The silver is a heat resistant insulation. So my walls are well protected. This is a SCUT 1027 with three inch bricks. And uh, I've been firing for five years, 115 firings thereabouts. And uh, no problem so far, but I've only fired twice that it went above cone five. So the lower cones are not as rough on your elements. Here beside it is my shelf that I keep all my firing, uh, my kiln furniture in, my shelves. I have a couple of the large shelves, the whole shelves, and then the rest are half shelves. So I can put the solid shelves there to put larger platters. My posts go here, and here are my stilts. These uh, hexagon stilts with the little metal things on them are, they're called bed of nails. I uh, do fire them multiple times. You see how dark they are, how many times I fired them. I have my witness cones, my gloves, and I no longer unload anything where it's hot enough that I have to use the gloves. But this is how I have it installed. I just thought I would share that. Um, I wanted to make sure that it was safe. I always check the plug before I start it because if it works its way out somehow, it can arc and catch on fire. Um, I do not stay in my shop while it is firing. After it has finished, I open this door and I have these uh, wood boards here that I spread across the, bo uh, the bottom, put a fan there so that it blows the heat air out I do not blow a fan on my kiln. I want it to cool off naturally. So if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. I've been doing this for five years now at home. And uh, thank you for joining me in the mud shop. Bye.